achievement should be completed in the morning of day one on the Level 1 award in coaching basketball. The centre name under the recognised centre details is actually the centre responsible for delivering the course. The delivery site is the venue where the course is being held. It is important that the learners record tutor and assessor names on the record of achievement. On day one, the tutor should also sign off the prerequisites to ensure the learners meet the qualification requirements. This should also have been done by the centre prior to day one taking place. Lastly, learners should sign the personal statement and this should be countersigned by the assessor on day one or on day two of the course. On the back of the record of achievement is the internal summary record of achievement. This should be signed by the tutor or assessor as learners achieve the competencies required for each task as they progress through the qualification and should only be signed by the tutors when they are clear that the learner has met the outcomes for each task. Verifiers sign the right-hand column and this should not be signed by tutors or assessors. The exam paper results should also be recorded in that summary of record of achievement. The learner's unit record of achievement should only be completed if the learner is not completing the full First for Sport Level 1 award in coaching basketball and if the learner is seeking individual units for certification. On task 3, one of the aspects that is not really completed as effectively as it could be is identification of a witness name and signature on the self-evaluation for task 3. This should be countersigned by a level 2 basketball coach or higher or a PE teacher and this witness should have observed the session that the learner has delivered outside of the level 1 award in coaching basketball. It is important that learners self-evaluate the sessions that they have delivered away from the course on task 4. The witness should also provide feedback and this is important as it's, it shapes the learner's action plan and also prepares them for the delivery of their final assessment of task 5. The witness should also sign and date this page. Once the assessor has observed the learner completing their task 5 coaching session, it is good practice to ask the learner to go away and have 10 minutes and complete their self-evaluation. This will help the learner to self-reflect and also come with some ideas for the professional discussion with the assessor in relation to their coaching session. As part of the professional discussion, assessors can also look at the responses recorded in the self-evaluation from the learners and use this as a basis to form questions for the professional discussion. It is important that the assessor gives feedback on the learner's progression through the course and also the delivery of task 5. The assessor feedback on page 26 should incorporate feedback from the task 5 delivery as well as learner's progression throughout the course. The feedback should also incorporate next steps for the learner which may include shadowing a higher coach or a more experienced coach, opportunities of where they can access more information on coaching within basketball and also other training courses they may be able to access to further their professional development as a coach.